Hello and welcome back to my channel. You know who it is and you know what it does. And today we're gonna work on doing this cute little uh, team inspired crop top sweater. I don't even know if I want to do a crop top, but we're gonna work on a team inspired sweatshirt, off the shoulder sweatshirt. All right, so stay tuned and we're gonna get into it. All right, you guys, welcome back. I am just now getting started and getting everything prepared for the project that we have going on today. So to get started, what we did is we just went ahead and printed out our image. This is the Denver Bronco logo. Um, this is on the sweatshirt. It's a, 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 just a plain um, Fruit of a Looms extra, extra large t-shirt or my t-shirt, sweatshirt, okay? And we wanna turn it into a crop top, off the shoulder, team logo. So now we're gonna look, and it looks, I'm gonna put on another t-shirt so I can try. All right, so now that I have, you know, cut off the top portion of it, what I'm gonna do is try it on now just to see how it fits and how to do. So. Here we go. I put just a mark here off, and that's how much I'm going to cut around it. Now, you don't have to be. Okay. Yeah. I'm just taking it from that area, and I'm just cutting down. You see? To where the end of the, that. And at this point, it really doesn't even matter. So we're going to try this thing on again alarm that is off the shoulder and it's falling because at the end of the day what we're going to do is we're going to create a casing and put elastic in there well what i got here so you're going to take it ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> all right so you got to take it and you can actually um you know lord jesus me and this damn elastic gonna fight okay Make sure it's not turned and it's not. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and then pull it to where you're comfortable. So, this here is about a comfortable area for me. It's going to slide up and it's okay. So, I can go ahead and move it because I already figured out what area I want. And I'm going to come down a little bit more and I'm going to clip it. So this is mine and you go ahead and set that to the side around and normally I would say go ahead and press it just so it's down but you don't have to do all that really you don't you can go ahead and just continue moving on along let me move this this way All right, so now that we have our casing pinned down, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, iron mine. All right. All right, welcome back. Okay, so now I went ahead and threaded my machine. Let me fix this up right here. I um, threaded our machine. I went ahead and pressed off my, my casing, pressed out my casing. Um... And I'm going to fix this here because it's driving me insane. And I guess that's just the... So we're just going to go ahead and sew. I'm going to backstitch, of course. Don't forget to backstitch. And it does. Okay, so I'm coming up to the seam. I'm going to backspace. All right. And you don't really need to leave a lot of space for it to be able to put your elastic in because you don't have a lot of space for the casing here. I'm going to pick it up back here. Let's see. I stopped it here and I'm going to pick it up about here. Here. All right. And I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more so I can have enough space to be able to really put my elastic in. And then I'm going to come back down and I'm going to pin that space here because I'm this is where I'm going to start sewing. And then here, 
lift up that and then I'm gonna move that pin that I had stuck in there for the guide. All right, and we're gonna continue back with our sewing. I'm gonna lock it in. Area here, and I'm just gonna come up a little bit more because, like I said, we didn't get we didn't catch the end of that casing the last time around. So I'm just gonna do a second round of uh, stitching glue method you can do the uh hot glue gun method there's so many different ways of doing this um this is just what i chose to do because i wanted to be able to have it for a while so now that we're done i'm gonna just take this thing over here to the with my little ugly stitching but it's okay doesn't have to be perfect and i'm gonna st uh, so press this down i'll be right back so now i'm going over and just threading my um elastic in and i have a safety pin i'm about to put another safety pin on this edge just in case it gets stuck in there so what i do is i just fold it and then put my safety pin in here let me see this light might be too bright okay might be okay there you go so i'm over here somewhere Okay, so we're coming to the edge over here, and it's coming and peeked out this other edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other end that I put the safety pin in, oh. and then I'm going to safety pin this edge just so I can get it all together. So I'm going to... Lap them over each other, probably by a good inch. So it's secure. And then I'm gonna show you how I make sure everything is evenly distributed. So you just take it and you just you know pull it so with this here you take it and make sure you want to make sure that it's all turned the same way as well because it seems like all my over here is in the front and I need it to just be evenly distributed so you just want to keep pulling it until it all and then what you want to do, why it's in the safety pin, you want to try it on just to make sure that the, the it is snug to where how you want it to be snug. So it doesn't matter how which way you turn it, just try this thing. It don't have to be front, back, or any way in particular. Um, but just try it on and make sure that it fits you snug. So once you, you can make your adjustments before... All right, and this actually is not bad. I think I'm gonna tighten it up a little, but it's not bad. But yeah, I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit more. The fit is is straight. I'm gonna bring. Ooh. I'm gonna bring this up to here, so I'm gonna remove probably about five to six inches of it, but I'm gonna use the original band and to bring it up to about here. So it'll fit a little bit more tailor. And then there you go. So let me go ahead and adjust my elastic. Oh, excuse me. So, that's why I've had you to put your safety pin in so you can make all your adjustments and make sure that it's turned, everything is turned the same way. Because I see this thing trying to turn on its own, turn its own way, but we're not going to do that. So, okay, so I'm going to pull it. 
All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is close my elastic. Normally, I lap it over each other and sew a zigzag. But because this is so small, I'm just, I am going to sew the zigzag stitch on a number three. Okay, so let me bring my needle down to lock it in. And I actually shortened it a lot more than what I thought I was gonna shorten it as well. So I'm gonna bring my elastic in. Let me find my stuff. And then I'm gonna go back. Come forward, go back again. Okay, so that's probably pretty good, pretty locked in there because it wasn't going anywhere. And then we can go ahead and move on. It's in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch. I, don't, I think it was, um, I don't remember. Whatever, it's all the same. I'm going to go ahead and close up my casing. And I'm going to get me a pin here so I can be able to hold it down. So now you're going to go in because remember I did two. Let me find my first stitch. Okay. So I'm going to go in and lock it in. And then I'm going to sew just past where I did the first. And then back stitch and come on out. Then I'm going to go back and on the second stitch, find on the second line that I did because I did double stitching. And go right or just a little bit past where I did my double. And then put it on that line. Uh oh, okay. And then I'm going to come in, back stitch a little bit, and then move forward. And I'm probably sewing on the stitching a little, I mean, on the um, elastic a little bit on this one, but it's fine. Because that means it's just that elastic piece will be a sewn in a little bit in that area. So it probably won't move much, but it's cool. And then I'm going to get my scissors. And get to snipping. Snip, snip. Now, this is going to look ugly on this area here, but it's okay. Because it's going to look like a lot of extra stitching. And it's not really supposed to look like that. But just, we're just throwing something together real quick. So, it's not that big of a deal. On the stitching. And it's not that big of a deal, of course. It's on your shoulder. And then I'm just going to, okay, go back in and do my stretching. Let me push you back. I'm going to go back in and do my stretching a little bit more so I can make sure everything is evenly distributed on both sides. Okay. I got some more threads to clean up. All right. I'm not going to do it now. So right now, this is going to be an oversized team shirt. But what I am going to do is, and then I'm going to size it to my waist. So give me a All moment. Right. So actually, when I went and looked at the, in the mirror and looked at the sizing, I actually like it the length it is. So I will not be um, changing it at all. I'm going to leave it actually the size that I, it is because I like it this way. It looks cute. Let me here. So uh, this is actually. A and it's going to take a while for that to cut. So I'm going to set that down. I'm actually going to take this off. So we're we're done here, at least with that part. 
All right, I don't know what the heck. I think all oh, when it hit the floor. Okay, okay, okay. So we're done here with this aspect of it. And it cut it pretty much all the way through, which is okay, I guess. So then all I have to do is find a corner to lift to remove it from the backing. Okay. So I'm going to take this part off of here. And as you see, it's just peeling off real nicely. Because technically all of this comes off. But this part here is peeling off. So that's what it did. And of course, I just took this and just printed it on a regular on a regular printer. All right. So we're good. We have that there. Now I'm going to go and do my wording with this machine. So, right. so I'm back. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to go on ahead. I've already created my um lettering with my cricket i went and cut it out every i have to go back and do this again because it didn't cut it at all i didn't want to have to get too because i don't know how thick this mat is all right let's try it again all right so it looks like it did a little better this time all right and i'm gonna keep saying this piece for another another cut and we're actually done with the sewing machine i believe so i don't have anything else to sew at this moment so then i'm gonna weed this but i have no idea how. oh it's working okay cool i'm gonna hang this back up and we're going to already have the the image so now we are on the process of going ahead and um let me bring you up uh, put laying the image so now what i did is i knew i wanted it to be two inches from my neck so i creased it down the middle and i made a mark with the insolvable with solvable um, washable ink and in the center so i know that's the center what i'm gonna do is because i know this is center too to make sure it's center i'm gonna crease it right here just a little bit, not too much, just a little. And then I'm gonna take the, the image off of this paper. And be careful with it because it is very flimsy-esque. Especially by his hair, because I don't wanna tear it. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna take, find my my bend uh -oh. right and put it right in the center you see all right then i'm gonna go get my um bronco and i know i want to put that let me fold this here so i can have the center of that as well And I'm gonna take that and put that right in the center here. So it's gonna come here, all right? So now I'm gonna get you into where, I'm gonna put another mark, oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put a mark here again where he is at so when we take it and go to the, um, I have to put this on here because this is what keeps it, and you gotta let it cook and bake for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna come back in about 15 and do the Bronco here on, on the center. Right here, right on the center. All right, so stay tuned. All right, let me bring you in. All right. So now we have our um, donkey on the the heat press, and I'm gonna put the thing the this sheet on here. I'm gonna go get my Teflon. 
Hold on. I think I might try to go ahead and put the Denver Bronco portion on it too. I'm going to try because I know I had it here. I'm going to put this piece on here. And then I'm going to lay my Teflon. All right. And we're going to go ahead and give her a press. And then we're good. So I, I, had it, I held it on longer than I wanted to. But it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And as you see, the Denver Bronco donkey is on there. Nice and back to go. Them.